The first time I saw a Cullinan, two things came to mind. It was either London cab, which was very squarish and bizarre, and just didn't really look luxurious. It looked like literally you were driving a cab. And the other issue, the, the second thing that came to mind when I looked at it was, man, you gotta be a really big person to feel like you're the right size to drive this. So I, as a very short, you know, five, seven person, I felt that I floated in this. I mean, literally the first time I saw it, I saw a tow truck driver driving one of these. And I told myself, I said, hmm, imagine throwing a hot dog down a hallway. It would float, I think is the best way to put it. So today we're going to take a look at my latest acquisition, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. All right guys, welcome back to Exotic Car Hacks. And today we are looking at my latest arrival. Uh, this is a Cullinan black badge. I just bought this. This is a 2022 black badge and it's quite special. We're gonna take a look at why. As you know, if you've been following the channel, I'm very big on finding very rare and special cars. Now, if you've been following me, you understand that the reason I do this is because it makes them significantly better on the resale down the road. So when I'm done enjoying this car, then I'm able to say, bye-bye and literally get my money and some uh, when doing it. So if you want to learn how to do that, just click the link in the description and you'll learn what car hacking is and why it's the best way to own a car for the last like 10 plus years. There's never been a better time. So you can do that because exotic cars, remember, don't depreciate like normal cars. They depreciate completely different. So once they hit a baseline, they basically stay there. So it allows you to drive free cars, but you can get through that through the description. We're not going to bore you with that. What we're going to look at today is this insane tungsten colored, $550,000 Cullinan. Now the average Cullinan is basically like 450 to 470. This is almost 100,000 in additional options. And I wanna show you why I've been chasing this car over the last few months and wanted this exact car. So first off, tungsten is a beautiful color because it's a gray. Uh, with a tint of blue in it, beautiful in person. It has the yellow pinstripe, it has yellow calipers, of course the big black badge wheels. A, a really good colored Cullinan to begin with, a very exciting yet subtle spec, nothing too crazy, nothing too loud, still keeping with the Rolls-Royce classiness. Now, we're gonna go and check out basically what makes this car really amazing, but the Cullinan as a whole is a very large car, except that it doesn't drive like a large car. Like I have an Escalade too, and I think the new Escalade, even though it is like about the same size, it drives as a much larger car. Like it feels like you're driving a bus. You don't feel like you're driving a bus. So kudos to Rolls Royce for that. But like I told you at the beginning of this video, you do kind of float in it. So we're gonna take a look at this car, starting from the front, obviously black badge, if you don't know what that is, it's a special division of Rolls Royce. They black out all the logos, they give you ceramic, uh, grills and they basically make the car a lot sportier, a lot younger, which is a good thing. So you're ready for this? This is a cool part. All right, so the interior is the most stunning part of this car. It's actually called Charles Blue on yellow. So this car is ridiculously loaded. I mean, ridiculously loaded. First off, you have obviously your premium audio. The majority of them have that. You have your little spirit of ecstasy in the doors. The majority of them have that. You have carbon fiber trim. The majority of them have that if they're black badges, right? Nothing special here. You have the Charles Blue, which is stunning in person, and you have this absolutely insane $5,000, you know, sheepskin, whatever, like floor mat. Absolutely stunning in Charles Blue. Really gives the car character. I can't stress enough how you really have to see this in person because videos are very hard to capture the true essence of how beautiful this is. The way the carbon hits this blue and orange, I mean, it's just mind boggling. So this is the front, nothing too different here for the majority of these cars. You, you basically sit here, you can use this annoying handle like the Ghost I have, you've seen this on my Ghost. Absolutely a great driving experience, nothing wrong with this, right? You have your massages and heated, cooled seats and whatever, who cares, right? Nothing special, but here's where this car really gets different from all the other colors. You ready for this? Look at this. This is spectacular. I mean, spectacular. And I want you to experience this with me. Come over here. So there's a couple of things about this car that are just unbelievable. The first one is that you have lazy, you have, you have a little reclining seat on this side and a normal seat on this side. That's an option, which is fine. You have your climate control. You have your shooting star headliner. Again, things you would find in the majority of these cars. Now, right here, you're gonna have your screen, Wi-Fi, movies, carbon fiber trays, beautiful, right? Nothing wrong, everything's excellent. But you know, this car goes beyond that. And this is where it's really exciting. So this is immersive seating. So this basically 
is this giant thing in the middle that will get in between a couple of things. It does not do a very good job in the sense that it is just a four seater. It is not a five seater, you don't have a bench. So that's a bad part. And the other bad part is that it makes it very inconvenient to have a job from this side to this side, which is also very inconvenient because trust me, with a car like this, you're going to be getting a lot of them. You know who you are out there. So that is something else that is highly inconvenient. But the benefit is that someone could literally fit here so you don't have to have them on the side. You don't have to zoom in when I say that. You know, like. Anyways, back to the, what I was saying about a car review. This is not a uh, Pornhub video. So anyways, so it, it's just so big back here and it's so comfortable and it's so convenient that it's fantastic. So here you'll open this and you have your little tray where you can manage your little, you know, screen, whatever. Who cares? Here you have, you ready for this? A beautiful Rolls-Royce decanter set. And this is amazing. And you have two beautiful glasses to go with it. So if you want to have whiskey, while in the back, it's literally here for you. Here, just like my ghost, you also have another additional refrigerator, where here you have your champagne. Also very exciting, very beautiful, very Maybach-like, and I love it. The design, the craftsmanship, beautiful, spectacular. Massaging rear seats, heated, cooled seats, like everything is fantastic. The recliner, the TVs, it is just an immersive experience like none others. But this car also comes with these very cool curtains. And what these curtains do is they create a very interesting dynamic in the car. Because of the curtains, you also have this glass, this privacy glass in the back. So you have a very enclosed rear cabin. And I think it is amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. But this isn't actually the coolest part. That's the crazy part. So this car has all of these options here, which is insanely loaded, but it still isn't the coolest part. That's crazy, right? All right, let me come and show you what the coolest and most incredible part of this car is. Well, look at this. Also, just like my Ghost, match to the interior. Absolutely striking. And again, still not the coolest part. So again, just, I'm telling you, this just keeps going. Are you ready for this? All right, look at this. This is my favorite part. First off, look at the glass, how fantastic. Look at the craftsmanship with the speakers behind the seats, fantastic. Look at this, look at this. So you have something here and there's a little sticker here that says no pets. But look at this incredible box right here. So this box does something, it's not random. I just want you to see it. You see you have this box, so you have less storage and obviously you have to move this if you want more. But, so it's not a car where you're gonna have a ton of storage, but look at what happens here. You press this button and it has what they call a viewing suite. So this viewing suite is $20,000 on a sticker and $40,000 if you buy it separately. Here you have little seats. Now, this is especially cool because you have a refrigerator and the decanter inside. And now you can literally have a picnic or just hang out and maybe watch a outdoor movie or go to a game or go to a picnic or whatever the f you do with this. I don't know, but it's just so cool. It's just so cool and so exciting. And then within a button again, you know, you put your little seats down, you put it back in and boom, there you go. It is now back in and gone. Now, options like these may feel like they're completely stupid, completely useless, and probably not the most usable or exciting part of a car like this. But they really are because the Rolls-Royce experience is just that, it's an experience. And the fact that this is such an immersive experience means that it is probably the most exciting version that I've ever seen of a Cullen in anywhere. And that's exactly why I bought it. Incredible colors, incredible young colors, something exciting that's not boring, like you're 90 and about to die in the car. The incredible back seats, immersive experience all around, black badge trim, spectacular color, and of course, that little picnic setup in the trunk is icing on the cake. So I wanted to share this with you because I am, I have my ghost still, my bravest ghost, and I'm not sure that I'm going to let go of either one of these cars, but I wanted to show you this because I wanted to show you that one of the things that's really important when you're buying an exotic is to make sure that the spec and actually how you buy the cars really helps you get into a position where you're not gonna find another one like it. And in this particular case, you know, I don't think you're gonna find another one like it, which is fine, but look at this insanity right here. Take a look at this. $550,000 for a Cullinan. 
That means it's what, like $150,000 in options. That's crazy, guys. Like absolutely crazy and absolutely beautiful at the same time. And I just love it. Like it, it, they went so far as to even put, look at this, look at this, this is amazing. They even have carbon fiber here. Nobody does that because these always get cracked when you step on them. But, but they did this and it's like so pretty. Every part of it is just so exciting and so immersive that it's just absolutely bonkers. So, you know, first take on this Kali, the hottest Kali you'll ever see and probably the most exciting Kali I've ever seen or, or, or driven in. Amazing. So the latest edition of the collection, you now have it. Don't forget again, exotic car hacks is the ultimate way to learn how to get these exotics and not lose any money. In many cases, remember, exotics hit a baseline. They don't depreciate like normal cars. So if you've ever been told that cars depreciate in their liabilities, this couldn't be further for the truth for exotics. So you need to learn this strategy on how to be able to buy these cars, enjoy them for a year, two years, and then get rid of them and position yourself better financially than owning uh, a Lexus, a Toyota, or a BMW. So learn the trade, learn the game. Don't forget Exotic Car Act memberships are still 80% off for Black Friday in July. So click the link in the description and join our 20,000 plus uh, member community where we are all car hackers helping each other get better deals and more importantly, just get better resources for the exotic car ownership. So hope you've enjoyed this review. Tell me your thoughts in the uh, comments. What do you think of this crazy spec? Uh, am I too crazy? Was this too Rick Rossish or uh, truly a one of a kind car that deserves to be added to the collection? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like, turn on notifications and subscribe and I'll catch you next time for Exotic Car Hacks. My name is Pejvan Gadimi and I teach people how to drive exotics for free. Let's look here at how this Huracan can cost as little as 300 a month.